everybody, Matt Farnham here with another real life question and answer for you. So a question a lot of people have is related to uh, private mortgage insurance, PMI on your mortgage payment and when can that fall off? Uh, now disclaimer, I'm not a mortgage lender, uh, however, I um, obviously deal with this on a daily basis so I want to give you some clarity here. If you have an FHA loan, your PMI will now be attached to your loan for the life of your loan if you put less than 10% down. If you put more than 10% down, then after 11 years, it actually can fall off. If you have a VA loan, you will have a VA funding fee unless you're a disabled veteran. If you have a VA funding fee, you have that in place of your PMI. Um, if you're a disabled veteran, you do not have a VA funding fee and won't pay any type of PMI. If you've used a VA before, the VA funding fee is higher on a subsequent VA loan uh, and you will have a much higher amount tacked onto your loan amount which is sort of like the PMI. If you have a conventional loan, this is a little bit tricky. If you have a conventional loan and whatever down payment you put, if you just continue to make your payment and don't do anything, once you've paid down to 78%, the PMI will fall off. Okay. If in the first two years, you want to put an additional amount down to get to the 80% loan to value in the first two years and Fannie or Freddie determine that your home has not decreased in value, you can get the PMI dropped off then. If after two years and one day, you get down to 75% including equity, if the home has appreciated, that can be accounted for and your PMI can drop off at 75% um, with a combination of down payment and equity and what you've paid down. So pretty loaded answer, uh, but a lot of people have a lot of confusion around that. Hope that helps. Again, real life questions, real life answers. Take care and we'll see you soon.